Mr. Pankaj Gupta. So Pankaj, you used two interesting words, effortlessness. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to expand upon that. It's a beautiful word. It's very appealing, but how do we even maintain that equilibrium? Effortlessness does not mean sitting under a tree and, and dreaming. Beautiful. Effortless doesn't Beautiful. mean just being lazy. Beautiful. Okay, effortless just means no struggle. Right now, most of us are spending our lives struggling. We're 80, 90% of our time is spent doing things we really don't want to do because we are in survival mode, which is a fear-based mode. Again, fear comes in, okay? So ease means to be in trust. Ease means to re-educate yourself, to understand nature, what this nature is and how it's here to serve us. That increases your level of trust. And the more you trust, the more it serves you. The more you trust, the more money you get. The more you trust, the more the right kind of people come to you. The less you trust, the more the wrong kind of people come to you. Okay, so the people who worry the most are the people who struggle the most. Look around you. Look around at the warriors around you, the, the warriors at home, the warriors at work. The they're the ones, works, yes, they call them. they're the ones who keep saying, oh, see, this went wrong and that went wrong and he didn't do this and that person didn't do this. Okay, and the happy-go-lucky ones actually have figured it out. They're, they're not lucky. They're smart. They're happy. They know how to remain happy and things work and we call them lucky. There is no luck. That's my main teaching. There no, is that, that, no luck. That could be another episode. <laughs> Absolutely. Why do you say there's no luck? Let me See, catch you on that. Luck is a word of ignorance to explain that 10 of us worked hard, but only two of us got the results. The best guys didn't get the results. The crooks got the results. <laughs> they must be lucky. There is no luck. It's vibration. We don't see vibration. That's why we call it luck. We don't see energy. Human beings are not designed to see energy. Yeah. That's the secret. Yeah. We don't know how to map the energy. Exactly. exactly, that's the secret. So you don't have to see energy, but from now on you can feel vibration. So when you're telling your child to finish their food, what are you vibrating? Okay, but if you're, if you're relaxed when your child is eating, they will finish their food. Okay, but if you're not relaxed and you're hammering them, and it, it's not even the action of nagging them, it's what you're feeling. It's, yeah, the emotion. Yeah, the you know, oh, my child's going to learn to waste food. You, you know, my child won't finish it. You know, he won't be healthy. He'll be spoiled. He'll be this. Right. Now, those are all worry-based vibrations, which is, which is actually an energy block. Okay, so one of the things which bothers everyone these days a lot, I, I hear that a lot. Oh, there's a lot of negativity at home. There's a lot of negativity yeah, yeah. At, at the office. office. What do I do with exactly. negative when I go people? out, I feel so much negative. When I go to yeah. parties, exactly. I get that question all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, what can you do? The only thing you can do is not resist it. The only thing you can do is understand that my inner peace does okay. not depend on that. Even if it's in my face sometimes. My inner peace does not depend on the outside circumstance. Exactly. I am in charge of my inner peace. It doesn't matter whether you are happy or sad. I care for you, but my happiness is my business. My peace yeah. is under my control. So the first step is to genuinely accept everyone as they are. Even if they're doing something wrong, they're doing the best that they can at that time. Haven't you always done your best? We've all done our best. If we could have done better, we would have. It's not just a matter of knowing better. We didn't have the energy. If you don't have the energy, you will not be able to do the right thing. And where does the component of discipline come in? Discipline is also possible only with energy. I don't teach willpower, mm -hmm. I teach wow. effortlessness. When do you need willpower? When you don't have energy. When it's hard for you to come out of bed in the morning, yeah. then you need willpower. But what if you raise your energy so you jump out of bed in the morning and you're unstoppable? I'm sure many people I mean, if you think. jump out of bed yeah. one hour earlier, something that you know many of my students do because we fixed our energy, yeah. then no one will be able to stop you from going to the gym. So your children, act, sorry, your students actually tell you that you fixed our energy and Absolutely. we're jumping out of bed. Absolutely. Like, wow, that's powerful. Yeah, you know, so, so uh, for example, they may say, oh, we lost so much weight at the workshop, but mm -hmm. we got so much energy, we need less sleep. Now we go and exercise regularly and we're losing more weight. So what's happened? Have they not become more disciplined? Mm -hmm. Are they not taking better care of themselves? Are they not more responsible? But how are they all of that? Because they fix their vibration, they fix their energy first. That is the key. Without energy, you cannot be disciplined. Without energy, you cannot be clear. You need clarity to be successful. You need discipline to be successful. And to be clear and disciplined, you have to have energy. 
So the only <laughs> investment... <laughs> it's all connecting the dots. Absolutely. Yeah. The only investment you need to make, the only investment I've made in my business, and you know, you live in Delhi, I live in Delhi for all these years, you've never seen any marketing from me. Never. No marketing, no advertising. Nothing. Okay. It's just sheer word of mouth. Exactly. You know and I know yeah. that I've never done any marketing, but it's all a matter of energy. Yeah. That I have allowed this energy to serve me. With this energy, I've been disciplined about my health. I've been disciplined about my work. People feel this energy. When I talk in a room, the room is electric. Right? Yeah, I'm Why? feeling that yeah. right now. With exactly. It, okay. My whole, I'm feeling more uplifted. Right. And, Amazing. Right? And you. you can do the same thing. You can be the same thing. Who do you like when you meet people? It's like electricity. Yeah. Right, right? Who do you like? You like the person with the right vibe. Vibes, yeah. What's vibes, the full form exactly. of vibes? Vibration. Vibration. What are you vibrating? Very true. Are you vibrating the vibrations of a warrior? Yeah. Are you a chicken? I need so many chickens. Why? Because everyone's scared. Everyone's worried. And it's not your fault. We were taught to worry. Yeah. Okay. When we were children, we were taught, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you worried? <laughs> Isn't it? Correct, correct. So, as soon as you go into worry and fear, your vibration dips. Yeah. What kind of people do you like? Don't you like confident people? Don't you like content people? Yeah. Isn't it? A content person is an honest content, person. Content, bubbly, yes. outgoing. <coughs> you're right. You're attracted to that type right. of vibration more. Right. Yeah. So, why don't you become that? And if you become that, will your customers not flock to you? No matter what you're selling? Yeah. Isn't it? If you're content, will you automatically not be in integrity, will you not work honestly because you're content? Wow. Isn't it? Can you imagine a content person being dishonest? No. What this episode has given you are three key words. Discipline, okay. effortlessness, and energy. Wow. Okay, energy makes it effortlessness. And when life becomes effortless, it's easy to be disciplined. And the right things come to you. Well, we're all going to affirm for that, Pankaj, and we thank you for taking time out. I do want all our viewers to know how they can get in touch with you, as well as change their lives if they so need it. We thank you for being on The Big Idea. You truly exemplify The Big Idea. My pleasure and my honor to be here for a second time, Neva. Thank, thank you very you much. Thank you so much. Says Pankaj Gupta, one of the world's most sought after and felicitated new age energy healers. If you feel you can't, you can't. If you feel you can, you can. Now know that it is easy and possible to change your feelings for the better at www.tappingchanges.com. May the universe bestow constant grace and protection to you eternally.